This is examples part one for the area section. So this example says evaluate um, this expression here for n equal to 10, 100, 1,000, and 10,000. So what we wanna do is we first want to apply our summation formulas. Now we do have a summation formula that says if we have um, a constant or a function that is not of this variable, you can take it out of the summation. So since n is just a constant, once I know what n is, this is just going to be a number, okay? This is going to come out. So I'm basically going to rewrite this as 1 over n squared, then multiply that times the summation of i plus 1, okay? So this does not, is not going to affect, get affected as I plug in i, because this doesn't have an i in it, okay? The next thing I want to do is separate this summation. So I have 1 over n squared, and then I'm going to have the summation of this term, i, plus the summation of the second term, 1. And now here I'm going to apply my um, summation rules. So the summation of i is going to be n times n plus 1 over 2. And the summation of a constant is just that constant times n. So in this case, just 1n. Now I am going to distribute this n squared into this problem. So I get n, n plus 1 over 2n squared plus 1n over n squared. Now I can simplify that. So I want to n squared plus n over 2n squared. And then here I can reduce by n, I get 1 over n. I could have also reduced this by n before I distributed. Um, either way, you can reduce afterward as well if you want to. Um, so we'll still get the same value eventually in the end. So if I reduce this fraction, I get 1 over 2. If I reduce this fraction, I get 1 over 2n. And if I want to have a common denominator, um, let's see what we would need. We would need to multiply this one by n and n. We would need to multiply this fraction by 2 and 2. So that would give me n plus 1 plus 2 all over 2n. So this is n, this is 1, this is going to multiply, so that's going to be 2. And then all my denominators will be 2n. So then I'll end up with n plus 3 over 2n. So this is the value you will get for this summation. Now depending on what the n is, this number will be different. So for n equal to 10, we get 10 plus 3 over 2 times 10, which happens to be 13 over 20. That's for n equal to 10. For n equal to 100, we get 100 plus 3 over 2 times 100, which is 103 over 200. For n equal to 1,000, we get 1,000 plus 3 over 2 times 1,000. So 1,003 over 2,000. And then finally, for um, n equal to 10,000, we get 10,000 plus 3 over 2 times 10,000, which gives you 10,003 over 20,000. Now, in your computer, they will want this expression, and they will want it as one fraction, which is why I've gone through all of these steps to go ahead and simplify it down to just one fraction because they will want you to give them this formula before you start plugging in all the n values.